I'm here at the headquarters of Orange, which is a telecommunications giant, which is a leader in the telecommunications industry here in Europe. It's present in 26 countries and it has over 266 million active users. Whilst the telecommunications activities of the company are well known to the general public, what fewer people know about is that Orange is also at the very forefront of IoT solution development. And that is precisely why I'm here with the CEO of Smartkey, Shimon Fyodorovich, to meet up with Sebastian Grabowski, who's head of IoT and advanced technologies here at Orange, to discuss the Smartkey and Orange partnership. Hi everyone, my name is Stefan Thompson and I'm the PR and Communications Manager here at Smartkey. I'm in Warsaw at the Orange headquarters with Sebastian Grabowski, who is Head of IoT and Advanced Technologies here at Orange, and Smartkey's CEO, Shimon Fedorovich. Hello. To Hello. start off, Hello. Sebastian, could you give us a sense of what Orange is as a company and of your involvement in the IoT sector? I can speak about at least two areas I'm responsible for, M2M and IoT which for me means smart cities. Mm -hmm. In M2M, above 2 million of SIM cards belong to us. It means that we are creating the background of future services and future digitalization around Poland. And second one, IoT. We mm -hmm. are the leader around Polish telecoms to provide smart services like smart bike, smart energy systems, smart heating systems, smart sensor, etc. Over 80 cities around Poland believe in us to transform the intelligent infrastructure, let's call infrastructure, to our intelligent infrastructure. It means that we are helping transform cities. We are giving tools to measure and to change cities toward green transformation. And as well, we are facilitating the life among those cities. Why did Orange, which usually focuses on telecommunications, decide to enter the IoT sector? For us, IoT means future. Almost three years ago, we decided to, in fact, went very deeply to this sector. Why? Because Internet of Things means future and the development and digital transformation. We have to remember that all over us are millions, billions of different devices which are using Internet. For us means potential services, potential additional revenues, and finally, fruitful business. We focus mainly on the smart cities and industries. Those two sectors really demand big digital transformation. That's why we decided to open Internet of Things in Orange Poland, finally create very fruitful path of growth, and finally I think that we are in the good momentum to grow and make another step. Excellent. Shimon, what, what role does blockchain play in the IoT and what value does blockchain add to the IoT? Uh, we see some facts that in IoT sector uh, there we have uh, some missing puzzle. Uh, there is a lack of communication standard between those devices that uh, Sebastian mentioned. Uh, that's why we use blockchain uh, to connect all these devices to create something like a communication standard, like uh, I can compare it uh, to the Bluetooth. Uh, because everyone knows Bluetooth, the, the Bluetooth is a technology uh, that are using in smartphones, in headphones, and you can easily connect those devices. And IoT and wide range of smart cities even need something similar. That's why we use blockchain as a communication standard comparing to the Bluetooth and we hope that we'll transform those cities to much more uh, easy for the inhabitants. So In addition it. to that, what yeah. Simon already said, I think because for us there is the big focus on the smart city as I mentioned already and we are delivering to those cities very intelligent platform to manage infrastructure. On the one hand, currently, we are managing, in fact, those intelligent services, those cities' verticals. On the other hand, together with Smart Key, we see this, I think it is a good description, this small lacking puzzle in the whole game of the IoT mm -hmm. among cities or in-city. There is this 
kind of control of the access. It means to facilitate, cross the barriers, gates, etc. Et, et and we decided to go in why? Because platform, city platform for cities, one element which really extend our business among the city and real tangible services for, uh, for people living in those cities. Sebastian, how will Orange implement smart key technology? For us, the key element is a smart city platform. There is Life Object, that is our Orange global platform to manage devices in general. We are using it in Poland to manage cities. And we implemented smart key standard to control the access. It means that for us, there is the extension of current services. And we know how to build on top of the business. On the other hand, to facilitate the life of people living in the, in the city. Sebastian, could you give me some real-life examples and use cases that Orange has already implemented? There are many. However, I will focus on the three at least. Or two, only three, I think, is enough. The first one, there is smart water system, which really protect the environment, natural resources, against, let's say, using it, in fact, in the bad way, for instance. It means that we are transforming cities toward ecological future, green future. Second one, there is as well lighting system to manage street lights. It, it means that we are saving energy, which is very important as well for citizens and for cities. Third one, I think very popular topic above of others in Poland, there are solar installation and photovoltaic installation, let, let's call it like that. What we are doing in this business, we know how to take the data from the installation manage them in the right way and after that give to the client information how the installation works like. On the other hand, provide additional predictive features to plan to switch on, to switch off the installation. I think those two elements are very important and probably are unique on the Polish market. What will the impact of the Smart Key and Orange partnership be? Uh, for us, uh, for sure, uh, partnership with such big uh, and well-known partner is a big opportunity to implement our technology m even beyond the Poland in the global space. Uh, for us also uh, it's very important to cooperate with city authorities wi wi where mm, blockchain and life object the platform already is. That's why uh, I think we could deliver for those cities additional functionality like uh, decentralized access control. And we use this access control uh, for, for, for an example, uh, for rescue without barriers. Okay, in addition uh, what Shimon said, um, I think that something which is, I think, I think there is the clue of the business. Think locally and work globally. We are starting in Poland, however, we are using global solution life object platform developed by the Orange globally. This platform is visible in many Orange affiliates in Poland, in Slovakia, in Moldova, in Belgium, in Romania, in France, in Spain and in other countries where Orange exists. That's for sure there is the first step to extend our IoT platform and make this platform very unique and uh, open for other technology, for instance, blockchain is one of them. Second part is just to be visible on the global map, because I believe that IoT will transform toward BIoT, Blockchain Internet of Things. And this area probably will become very famous for a moment. That's uh, when you are asking me what I think about the future of this cooperation, I think that locally we are starting something unique and big and hopefully, for a moment, we will be visible in the map created by Orange. We hope so. Well, I'm certainly very excited about all of this. Thank you very much for your time, Sebastian. Thanks, Sean. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye.